guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be making a quick tutorial on a basic block bodies a basic bodies that's what we're going to do today so the materials we're going to be needing are your scissors tape rule marker pen your ruler and your curve and of course your pattern paper so the measurements we're going to be needing today are the shoulder measurement 14, bust measurement 33, waist measurement 15, hip measurement 34, blouse length or where the body is going to stop the upper pelvic A region 22, bust pan or people call it nipple, nipple to nipple 7 inches. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to be dividing some things. The shoulder measurement here is being divided into two, which will give us seven inches. The bust measurement will be divided into four. You know, the reason for the shoulder measurement being divided into two is because it doesn't go around the whole body. It's just at the back. But the bust measurement goes round the whole body. So the, the shoulder measurement 14 is being divided into two. The bust measurement into four. The hip measurement too is divided into four. Then the blouse length, you're going to be adding seam allowances, but that should be on your fabric. This pattern, there will be no seam allowance added. So your bust pan or nipple to nipple measurement will be divided into two. And that will give us 3.5 or three and a half inches. So, okay. So having divided all the measurements, we have the shoulder measurement so we're going to be using these numbers there, the ones that we've divided. That's what we're going to be using. This one here is to get our darts. This one here, the bus pan is to get our darts. All right, so let's get started. So first off, we're going to be, we will need a starting point straight line okay so we're going to be inserting our vertical measurements the vertical measurements we need here are we need our bust line or okay the chest measurement we need the chest measurement so from you take from your shoulder to your chest or it's also called the armhole measurement so you can take the the armhole of your client or whoever you're you're drafting the pattern for or you can get it this way so you can get your armhole length by dividing your bust Bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. So our bust here is 33 divided by 6 is 5.5 plus 1.5 inches. And it will give you your perfect arm O. So here we have 7. So we're going to mark down our 7 from this starting line to 7 inches here. And the next measurement is our waist measurement, which is 15 inches. So we're going to mark down our 15 inches here and our blouse length. Our blouse length, which is 22 inches. So we're going to mark that here. So we're going to repeat this to get a straight line. Connect everything together. Okay. 
okay so now we're going to be inserting our horizontal measurements okay so first of you're going to mark out three inches it's a standard three inches from here then you mark out another eight inches here from the eight inches you're going to come down by one inch you're coming down by one inch with a slant line with a slant line take it up to where your three inches mark is connect the line together and there you have your shoulder slope because our shoulder is not a straight line so you connect it and it will give you your perfect shoulder slope so from this line we are going to insert our shoulder measurement you remember our shoulder measurement is divided into two which is 14 divided by 2 is 7 so here we already have three inches so we are going to continue the remaining seven from this slant line here so from three inches you're going to get your seven inches okay so from this seven inches you draw a line down to get a straight line down so from here we're going to be inserting our measurements please your paper should be on fold for the front and the back drafting so your paper should be on fold so from here we're going to be inserting our measurements our bust line our bust is 33 divided by 4 and we have 8.25 okay so we we'll insert our 8.25 and that is it here then you come down to your waist measurement your waist measurement is sorry i omitted the round waist when i was introducing our measurement so our round waist measurement is 29 inches so 29 inches divided by 4 is going to give us 7.25 okay so here we'll insert our waist measurement 7.25 okay and our on the hip line we're going to be inserting our hip measurement and our hip measurement is 34 divided by 4 giving us 8.5 and that is it here so from this point after connecting this line you can then add your seam allowance your sa from this point so just contour this place a bit so it won't have a sharp and blend it together we don't need any sharp end here so our bodies is already taking shape so from this place you can start adding one inch sewing allowance to your measurement if you like or you can add it directly on your fabric Okay, so you blend the top. Okay, so here now you're going to find the midpoint of this arm O. So your midpoint, just divide the tape rule like this. For the front, you're coming in by 0 0.5 inch. 
it works perfectly for all sizes i'm not saying it's standard but it works perfectly for me it works perfectly for all sizes for me okay so book curve designers you need your curve to get the perfect thing you want so from here you connect it down and you have your perfect arm o so for the back arm o just connect it it doesn't need to go in the front measurement the front bodies is always deeper in the arm o than the back more deeper than the back measurement so for the neckline we already have three by three here so we're going to use three inches or 3.5 inches for an average woman three by three works for an average woman so you're going to connect your three by three and for the back the back neckline is just one inch so you connect it equally to this place just one inch this is a basic block so from this basic block you can draft or alter these bodies to any other thing you want to alter so this is just basic foundation from here you can get anything you want to get so let's insert our dart that is where our nipple to nipple measurement comes in or the bust pan so our bust pan is 3.5 3.5 here Okay, 3.5. So we're going to connect that together with a straight ruler. I take my dart for the for the for the front. I do what I call 10 10. 10 10 is not it's standard but it works for me the first 10 and the last 10 here so your dart will start from this place and ends in this place so on the waistline you're going to take in half inches on both sides half inch here half inch here but if it's a plus size if it's for plus size, if you're drafting for plus size, please take three quarter of an inch this side and three quarter of an inch this side. It will give more room for the stomach region. So we are going to be connecting these lines together. We connect this to this and this to this. Then you come down, connect this to this and this to this. And you have your front dart but for your back dart you can start here your back dart you can start here it's, it doesn't it doesn't affect anything so since you you have you've taken one inch from here please remember to replace it back here Anything you take out from this place, remember to add it back to the side seam. Right? So let's cut it out. We're cutting the two together, but I will show you what to do when you get to the arm all side. Okay, so here now we will be cutting through the back arm o first we'll be cutting through the back arm o first and then the back neckline first so after cutting this out this is more more like the back body so you're going to divide this you will divide this so you have two you have your front 
pattern and your back pattern okay all right so now this is your back bodies and this is your front body so let's cut out the armhole for the front bodies and you cut this out as well all right so here is for the front and this here is for the back so you can use your tracing wheel to trace this that line on it use your tracing wheel to trace it out the, the line then you extend this instead of the your that starting here it can start from this point here from the chest line or you come down one inches it depends on what works for you and so this works for me and this works for my clients also for all sizes so remember i said for the plus size you can go in by three quarter of an inch on both sides instead of the half half inch thank you guys for watching my video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and if you have any question please drop the question in the comment section below all right so this pattern we're going to be using it to make different types of things on this channel so stay tuned remember don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos thank you guys so much see you later bye